This video is sponsored by Next PCB. Here are two big news from Next PCB. Next PCB has acquired Kiki PCB and Midsummer Sales. If you are a customer of Kiki PCB, you can use your Kiki PCB account and password to log in into Next PCB directly for your orders placed on Kiki PCB. Next PCB will arrange a dedicated salesperson for you to follow up and communicate with you for the current orders you place with Kiki PCB. Next PCB will take over all of them. There are big sales on Next PCB up to 30% off for PCB order, up to 20% off for PCBA order. Click activity rules and you can see more details here. Next PCB is your complete solution for printing circuit board. Please check the description for more information. Let's start from the beginning. When I was a kid, I used to play football and cricket. Oh sorry sorry, we are here for a creative chit chat about our dream laptop. Here you can see the HDMI cable. This cable is very long. So we need to cut it first and solder it. Just follow the procedures. You might be thinking about the cabinet. I'm very poor bro, I can't afford pie cases. So I printed the whole thing with my own 3D printer. It is very difficult to solder the cables, so I decided to replace it with copper wire. I am done with all the works and connected it to my Pi. But I don't know why it's not working. I wasted whole 6 hours doing this. What a waste of time, I could have spent it with my girlfriend. Now again, I have decided to buy another cable and managed to fit in the cabinet. Due to lack of space, again, the keyboard slider is not going to work. So this time, I have to cut the cable again and solder it with normal HDMI connector only. See, it's working. Eureka, Eureka, Eureka. The idea worked. Now I should contact Mr. Musk for space expenditure. At least Martian can have a new dream laptop now. So far, so good. This cable is real good but not for our work. So we need to replace it with the brand new old laptop display cable. Here you can see I soldered all the wire accordingly to our previous one.
I also soldered both cable to connect the display. Glue the display cabinet. I know, I know, the glue is not good for a while, but I am doing this for a temporary basis. Here is a super dope keyboard with infrared technology. You can control it even without touching. Now we will disassemble the keyboard and solder two wires to power up through the Pi. The 3mm rod which we need to split into two parts and combine the screen cabinet with keyboard base using this 3mm rod. Now we have a 5 volt audio amplifier and ringer loudspeaker. Both will be connected. To know how to connect the amplifier and Raspberry Pi, follow my website. the making connection of different components like 2596 module, power up the Pi and display driver, visit our website for detailed guidelines.
The Dream Laptop is powered by 4000 mAh battery which can work up to 2 hours without any shutdown. 1 ampere is consumed by display driver and another 3 ampere by Pi. Now the battery is connected to the circuit. Let's switch on the system to test the electric flow in the circuit if it's working properly or not. To cool down the burning Pi, we need to place titanium liquid cooling fan on Pi. Oh shit, the fan is big. Hmm, let's see what can we do. Just watch and go with the flow. For the futuristic look, unitary display and keyboard unit is assembled with the main cabinet to give it a dream look. Display arm connected with main unit to give support and control rotation up to 110 degrees. This power supply includes 7.4 volt 1 ampere adapter which used to charge the battery. <laughs> 